Hi, I have some exciting news to tell you. You know, I've been painting a lot more lately. I really feel like it's going somewhere with them. And I kind of feel like I'm developing my own personal style. Although I know the personal style always changes, yada yada yada. Anyways, the point is I'm going to Madrid. And not just for vacation, but I'm going to exhibit some of my art in my first ever art fair. You should have seen me when I got it confirmed. I was so excited. I started dancing around in my living room and I didn't even have any music on. I just, I needed to get the energy out somehow. But I don't know, it kind of feels like a roller coaster. One moment I'm feeling ultimate bliss of fulfillment and excitement and the other moment I'm overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I need to get done. Wondering what paintings to bring, which one of them are even good enough to bring. And like, will people even be interested in them? I don't know. the gallery that's representing me they have given me some measurements and I'm trying to also fit them into whatever measurements they have so you know what I've been doing I started some new paintings <laughs> but I only have a few days to actually finish them to send the info so I'm not even sure I'm gonna use them but I also don't want to regret anything because what if I end up making something that would I would rather have brought you know I feel like it's better to at least try and then I can always use whatever I have if I don't like it. I'm honestly not losing anything by doing this. Well, besides from my tranquility and my sanity, but those things always find their way back to me, I think. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of love the pressure. I feel like it's pushing me to create some things that I probably wouldn't have created otherwise. You know, for better or for worse. And sometimes when I paint something, I feel like it's completely different from what I'm imagining. And that probably happens to everybody. Usually it never becomes exactly how I imagined, but at least similar to the idea. But sometimes I try something new and it's really different and not always in the best way. But it's okay. I feel like sometimes I just need to see the idea in front of me to see if it actually works or not. And not all of the paintings are meant to be finished and that's okay. I think I've become better at being patient though, to give the paintings time to breathe, you know, when you paint the first layer and you're like, what the hell is this? What am I doing? And then you work with it a bit and your vision slowly comes out and yeah, that's how I feel sometimes. Opening my ears and actually listening and fighting the instinct to immediately say, no, that's not going to work. Oh no, they don't know what I'm talking about. But honestly, I'm so excited about this experience. Last year, I was really enjoying connecting with other people through my art. You know, when I was teaching the Paint and Sip at the festival during the summer, also selling my books in various markets. And I really, really enjoyed talking to people directly and sharing my ideas and stuff like that. 
like that so I'm actually super excited to be a part of this art fair it will be fun to connect with people that actually like the art and in person and see their first impressions and everything I think it's gonna be really good Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to tell you when and where. So it's gonna be in Madrid and the art fair is called Artist 360. So I'll be there from the 28th of February to the 3rd of March. So the 28th of February is a Wednesday and it starts at 3 p.m. That's the official opening. So I think that's gonna be fun as well. And don't worry, it's completely free for anyone to enter and I like that, it makes it super accessible. Okay, I'm not gonna say the whole address, so I'll just leave it here, so at least you have it. I hope you make it, but if not, I will make sure to update you about everything that happens later. Okay, thanks for the talk, I'll see you next time.